Hello, I'm Michael Oxenford. I'm the uh, construction electrical instructor at Thaddeus Stevens College, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about what's expected of our students at NRS program. You do not need electrical experience to be successful in the construction electrical program, and we will take you uh, from little to no knowledge to being able to uh, wire a house project that we do here at our school, as well as um, commercial and industrial uh, wiring techniques we teach at the school also. Our students are expected to be on time, be prepared to learn each day, and try something new. They're going to be having homework every night to do. We do uh, review the homework beforehand in class so they know a little bit what's going on, and we can help them. And as far as the classroom goes, we do theory every day for part of the day. So the students would be expected to do homework, like I said earlier, and also they would be given a quiz every Friday, usually, typically on a Friday, a quiz, and then every three weeks we would be doing a, taking a, uh, an exam on that chapter that we're working on, or could be two chapters at a time. So in addition to that, then we would come into the shop area here and work on projects. We have both residential projects and commercial projects that the students are expected to complete each and every day they're working on. There's a set amount of projects for each semester and they're graded on those projects as well and that is figured in with the theory grade to come about their grade uh, for the classroom. We take them from basic wiring projects, learning about Ohm's Law, to wiring switches, receptacles, light fixtures found in homes, uh, commercial places such as the school here, we do projects around the school for the school, maintenance projects. It's just like real life work. We build an actual house that the, that the school sells when it's finished in the spring. And it's, we do every, all the electrical wiring from beginning to end in that house. As you can see the studs in this room is what the house would look like. In construction electrical, it's exactly what it sounds like. It could be, you could be working out in a ditch someplace, you could be working in a confined space, and we learn about safety as our number one priority. We will learn about all the tools we use. We use power tools, hand tools, we drill holes at the house project, and mount our boxes, pull wires through there. We run conduit, what's known as conduit. It's physically demanding. As you can see, I'm standing next to a ladder. We work off of ladders, off a of scaffold. Uh, we could work at height. At the house project, we will be on different floors in the house working. We could be outside on the scaffold, putting the service down the side of the house. We're out in all kinds of weather, whether it be hot, cold, everything in between. We do have to dress for the weather on this particular type of work. Thanks again for your time. I appreciate your interest in the construction electrical program, and I hope you choose Thaddeus Stevens College. Hi, my name is Adam Theroff. Hi, guys. My name is Lisa Rao. We're first year students here at Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology. We are majoring in construction electrical. And uh, we're here to tell you guys, as students, how to succeed at the construction electrician program here at Thaddeus. The workload here at Thaddeus Stevens in the construction electrical course isn't actually as bad as you would think. It's really important that you read up on all your books in order to understand exactly what's going on in shop and in theory class. I'm here to talk about the, uh, the instructor. He's been doing this for about 30 years now, so he has a, a wealth of knowledge for the students. So if you have any questions, you can ask him. Uh, he'll most likely know the answer. If he doesn't, he'll go and try to find the answer for you. He runs it like a job where he expects you to be on time, you know, have attendance here because it's a short program. It's only a year. So if you miss a couple days, you're going to fall behind pretty fast. And the way he runs it from the beginning, it's kind of like a crawl, walk, run. When you first get here, you know, he's going to help you out with a lot of the wiring diagrams and stuff like that. And then as you progress farther along in the course, you know, he's more hands off. He'll let you make your own mistakes, then he'll come back and correct them. And I mean, first he'll try to see if you know the answer to it, and then if you can't figure it out, he'll come and help you. Most people come into this program thinking that they're going to be in shop the whole nine months that they're here, but actually we're in a classroom where we're practicing and going over theory methods. And then as you can look around, this is actually our shop that we work in. So we're in here a majority of the time as well. 
We also, towards the end of the year, have the chance to work on a house. So we actually wire up a house from top to bottom. Four characteristics you want to be for a good electrician, you know. Someone that's good at problem solving because you're going to have to figure out, you know, your own wiring diagrams, your own wiring schematics, you know, from a floor plan. Um, you also want to be someone that can pay attention to detail and is good with accuracy. Um, the reason that is, you know, you're working with electricity, so it's hazardous if you, you wire it up wrong. Uh, third thing, uh, safety. Someone that's always conscious of safety, because like I said, electricity is dangerous. And then finally, someone that can work individually or in a big group, because outside of here, you might go to a small residential where you know, you're only working with four guys or something like that, or you can go to a big commercial site where there's 50 electricians yet yeah, they're working with. So you want to have that communication skill to work in a big group. In conclusion, you know, you don't really need to have a, a background in electricity to succeed in this course. I did it. You know, I mean, I twisted a few wires here and there, but I didn't know anything about you know, the theory work or anything like that in this course. But like I said, Mr. O has a wealth of knowledge. So he's helped me, you know, learn a little bit about electricity uh, in the long run. I agree with Adam 100%. I also feel that if you're a female and you're interested in this trade, I came in horrified, so scared, not knowing exactly what was going on. I didn't even know some of the names of some of my tools. But Mr. O and all my other classmates worked with me. They helped me on projects. If I have any questions or concerns, they're always there. So thanks for uh, taking your time out, listening to us uh, talk about how to succeed in this program. And we hope to see you guys here soon at Thaddeus Stevens. Thanks, guys. Thank you.